An unintended consequence of the war was all the problems with minority rights. In this case, the minority is all the Women had little to no rights after the war had ended. There had been several attempts of suffrage, but none had been successful. However, the National American Women's Suffrage Association made a huge impact for the push for total rights for all women. Propaganda in the form of posters were used to promote the want for e equality. A lot of women were involved in the mobilization for the war, so they stressed just how important they were at that time. Finally, President Wilson came to the conclusion that women were a vital component during the war. During a speech, he urged Congress to support women's suffrage. Women received suffrage on August 16, 1920. World War I pushed the black community to ensure full citizenship of their people. The black soldiers who could only serve in segregated units protested about racism. Together, the black and whites formed the NAACP. Together, the black and the whites formed the NAACP. In the decades following World War I, the Harlem Renaissance occurred. Colored people living in the South started to migrate to New York where they could express their heritage both confidently and artistically. One of the first notable events of the, the Renaissance came shortly after the NUL began publishing Opportunity, a Journal of Negro Life. During the Harlem Renaissance, the African-American artists used their fame as an opportunity to delve into the themes they found problematic to American culture by introducing Africa and the notions of the primitive to white America, African-American artists had their first opportunity to explore how these ideas could be used for and against their race.